Hi everyone, welcome to the Packages, Package Manager's Weekly Sync for October the 15th, 2019. I am Aiken Brain, I will be your host. Um, we're going to go around the room and give some updates. Uh, could I get a note picker, please? Thanks, Molly. One day, Dominic, one day. I was it last time. Oh yeah? Well, uh, cool. Uh, so, okay, I can go first. Um, so, I last week, yeah, so we published an RC for the new JSIPFS. Um, that's very exciting. So, we've got like some missing uh, uh, missing APIs being implemented and some performance improvements for um, uploading stuff in the browser. It's going to be a, a nice, a nice, tidy release, hopefully. Um, I added loads of automation. So, we've got loads of examples that get run and Oh wow, it's tedious running those examples. So now they're all automated through um, Nightwatch.js browser automation and general general testing tests, which is great. Um, I'm blocked on UNIXFS, so I was really hope to hope, you know, to be able to do this release that has um, you know metadata in it, like more metadata. But we're still waiting for Stephen to put his thoughts down on how the metadata should get added to the directory. Um, so I can't really do anything on that. So that's why I've been picking up lots of JS, IPFS stuff. Um, so next up is, as part of the async await refactor, so um, loads of the APIs are now becoming all streaming all the time, and we've started using fetch uh, to access them over the HTTP API. Um, and the interesting thing about fetch is that it brings browser semantics for, um, for requests to node. And one of those browser semantics is that it doesn't support HTTP trailers, uh, which is problematic for us because that's where all the errors go if you're using a streaming API. Um, so in the browser for all time and now Node as well, if you hit a streaming API and you're halfway through the stream and an error occurs, then the stream just stops and you don't get an error, um, which is pretty tedious. Uh, so I'm going to start looking at how to upgrade our HTTP API to not do that. Um, so it'll involve doing some JS work and some Go work too, so that we can get uh, some kind of synchronized ish release out to add support for that backend. Um, but yeah, that's me. Any questions? Didn't we just do a JS IPFS release? Is this just that the six week yeah. cadence is actually? Yeah, kicking off the next RC happens shortly after we've launched the previous one. Yeah, exactly. And you know, to be honest, I think it's better to do lots of small releases than big bang releases. Totally, I agree with that. And then the idea is that we're just automating as much as possible. So now, like the only kind of manual thing to do is going to be to uh, like to look into any failures for running third-party repos, and then just to gather feedback from our um, early testers which would hopefully be pretty low impact. So it's not going to like consume someone's time like as a full-time kind of thing, which it kind of has up until now. That's awesome. Good work. Uh, Dominic, do you want to go? Yeah, sure. Um, so mostly I've just been uh, iterating on the PR that I have up for this uh, 9P server. Um, it's at a point now where it seems pretty stable, uh, and I'm writing a bunch of tests and, and just testing it out. Um, there are some known issues that I'm working on that are, are listed in there, and then I know Steven said he would take a look at it and, and check out basically the, the changes that have been done to it. But it seems to be working pretty well and is somewhat performant. And then uh, with that in place, with like a stable, the biggest issues I've had up to this point have been context related and like uh, protocol compliance. So uh, with those out of the way, we should now have like confidence in the operations performing in the pipeline that they're expected to work in. So that should make writing uh, not like more feasible or less feasible, but like those will, we can make guarantees around them and, and make tests for them that should guarantee things. So to sum that up, basically the, the read-only portions are are good and then the writable portions are coming soon after um, and then tests for them will follow. And hopefully this should be 
um, close to being able to be merged, at least in an experimental stage, um, the read-only portions at least, and then the write, write will follow. But yeah, that's it for me. I've got like more detailed stuff in the notes there, but yeah, that's it. Any questions on that? I'm just hearing in general that people are blocked on Stephen, and I believe Stephen is mostly out this week in vacation in Japan. So um, that's <laughs> we should we should aim to do better in the future around uh, getting people unblocked before people go on vacation. But just a small note obvious. on that. I think I think Alex mentioned it as well. Where we're definitely blocked on that, but there is other stuff that we're certainly doing. Yeah, totally. Makes sense. I guess I can go next. I, I have minimal things to say. I was at um, DevCon last week, which was very interesting. There'll be a trip report shortly, which talks about um, some of the takeaways and um, observations and conversations with people. Hallway track was a, a big component of it. Um, but the thing that I know is still on my plate from our last meeting is sending intro emails to um, some of the, the folks on the package manager side that we want to consume some of these changes that we're, we're landing this quarter. Um, and so that's on my docket. I would like to do that. Um, but I want to make sure that the, the emails that I send have kind of the partner on the other side where it's like, um, cool, like open SUSE, like we would like to land this thing here is the person who's working on that thing. Let's like create a closer tie of communication. Um, do we do we know which which one is which? Like is OpenSUSE the mount and Geeks is Unix of SV2, or Unix of SV1.5? And so I intro Dominic to um, OpenSUSE and I intro Alex to um, Geeks. I mean, you already know geeks as well as I do probably, Alex, but um, just in terms of kicking off like, hey, this is what we're planning and, and next steps. And do we feel confident that I should send those emails now or should I wait another week? I think until, like I said, geeks' requirement was the um, executable bit. And until we have a story about how we're actually going to implement that, I wouldn't, I wouldn't send the email probably because there's nothing to say because not, nothing's really changed for them and since, since IPFS camp. So. Yeah, I think like, the, sorry, go ahead. I was just going to say likewise on my end, um, the, when it comes to like setting up a package repository to do SUSE packages, that's something that kind of the, the mount should at least be in a state where writes are uh, maybe not tested, but at least up and running um, before we do that. So may, maybe another week would be good. Okay. Yeah, I can totally wait another week. My my aim is to also give them enough lead time where it's not like, hi, please do this right now, um, because that's not always feasible for people. But you're right that like, hey, we would like this thing in like three weeks is a, a rather uh, overly forward looking statement, perhaps. Um, and so we should at least have have a plan nailed down on our end where like, these are the things that we are going, we foresee happening. And this is our, our high level vision. So to Alex's point, we kind of need the Unix FSB 1.5 spec at the very least, such that we can describe exactly how um, their executable that would fit into the mode. Um, okay, I will then hold off on my action item for another week. Perfect, glad I wasn't blocking anyone while I was out and uh, we can revisit. I'm moving this to block then. Any other things? I think for me. Cool, chugging along. I've been watching Dirk's continued progress on, on BitSwap stuff. I'm sure he'll give us kind of an async update in the notes maybe, but um, seems like continued improvements um, using the, the have and don't have messages to optimize not sending duplicate blocks, which is snazzy and exciting and Hopefully, we'll, we'll get a, an async update from him on exactly all of the, the thinking and experimentation that's gone into that. Cool. 
Cool. I guess we can uh, end a little early then. Sounds all good. All right. I'll start recording then. Thank you very much, everyone. See you all on the internet in the future. Bye. Bye, everyone.